In the coming months, the Washington State DNR is planning to approve a 100-acre clear-cut called the Upper Rutsats Timber Sale. The Upper Rutsats Timber Sale is on state public land and is home to dozens of trees over 100 years old and measuring over four feet in diameter. Here in Whatcom County, our public forests can play a significant role in the fight against climate change. This is especially relevant in the Pacific Northwest, where forests can store carbon at a higher density per acre than almost any other ecosystem in the world. Right now we're in the Upper Rutsats Timber Sale. This is located just above the Middle Fork Nooksack River. And as you can see behind me, this is an old and mature forest. And it's this type of forest that's very unique in the state of Washington. Most of these forests have already been logged and converted into tree plantations. Tree plantations are homogenous. They're all the same age, same species. And you don't get the same kinds of habitat, recreation opportunities, watershed benefits with those plantations. Here in Western Washington, we happen to have some of the most carbon dense ecosystems on the planet. Over the next five years, thousands of acres of the oldest and most biologically diverse lowland forest in Western Washington and the greater Puget Sound area are slated to be logged by the Washington State Department of Natural Resources. These legacy forests are reservoirs of genetic and biological diversity. They are the most powerful carbon storage containers on our planet. Almost all of the old growth forests that once populated the lowland watersheds of western Washington have been logged, making it extremely important to protect the few remaining unplanted native forests. <laughs> 